Now, <coughs> you all start out your journeys in different regions of Tamriel. You all have different purposes for coming to Skyrim. Some of you have come to escape from some particular reason. Some of you have come because the courier has come to you with an important letter, simply saying that this mysterious person wants to meet with you in the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood. Some of you are going to this meeting out of curiosity. Some of you are going there because, you know, you're bored. You're all making your way towards this destination. <clears throat> and you are set upon by these masked figures who proceed to knock you out and gag you and bind you. Ugh. And you ex all start experiencing this same dream before you stands a vast green field. Behind you, you can see that uh, Kinreth's mighty mountain, the throat of the world, is standing a good distance away. And you look around you, and each one of you see three silhouettes standing beside you. They seem to be brandishing their weapons. And standing before you is another silhouette. A very large silhouette, give it, but human nonetheless. And from behind him, you see four more silhouettes come from behind him. And you see an extra one come in from in front of him. He, you can see that this figure sort of shakes its formed head towards the, the silhouette opposite of you. And he walks over and joins you and the silhouettes beside you. And you steadily see that the opposite line of silhouettes is getting larger and larger. More silhouettes are forming. More and more. And you see that your side is getting larger and larger. You see all forms of shapes and sizes of silhouettes just forming and brandishing the weapons. And it's as if a cue was laid out. <clears throat> the battle commences, and you start to regain consciousness. <clears throat> you, you find yourself in a little dank room. You, you find that there are three other people besides yourself in this, what looks to be a prison cell. This room is so dank. Uh, you, uh, dude, dude, shush. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> So anyway, you regain consciousness and you you notice that your hands are above your head and bound by what looks to be a steel slash silver prison gauntlets that are pinning you like upright, like in a hanging motion up against the wall. <clears throat> and you notice that all of you are gagged and you have been stripped of all of your weapons and all covering you can see that in this room alone there is a Khajiit 
looks to be a Nord, an orc, and apparently a Dramora, all in this one little prison cell. <clears throat> Uh, you're not totally naked. Oh. You're in your buffs. God damn you're it. Like... No! Why? <laughs> uh, but uh, you notice as you get more aware of your surroundings that you hear two people talking outside of your cell. Could I try to... Uh, oh. Oh, I, I did not mean to click that. I was trying to yeah. open up the thing on that. Uh, you can definitely look in that direction. Your head is not, like, pinned to the wall to where, like, you can't, like, move it. I just wanted to use, uh, as a Khajiit, I got advantage on perception with hearing. Yeah. So I, I want to try to hear what they're saying. I oh, can. no, you can clearly hear them. They're oh, okay. Outside of the wall. You don't need to, like, roll anything. <clears throat> and you see before you a, a, a two different size men. One of the men is standing to uh, to the far side of your cell and like the farthest away from your your cell door. And he, you can tell, like you, like you guys have been around these people enough that you can tell that he is a high elf and not any high elf but he is clearly in a thalmor mage an old married dominion mage and he's standing there talking to a man who is nearly twice his size <clears throat> And in full body armor, you cannot see an inch of skin on this man at all. Not one part of him is exposed. His very, <clears throat> his very uh, armor is demonic yet elegant at the same time. His helmet is <coughs> covers his entire face and. <laughs> can see that it uh, sprouting out of it it has four horns that sort of form from the helm on his back you can tell that he holds a mighty great sword and on his back is a blood red cape and you know that the elf is speaking first <clears throat> The elf is speaking first, and he has a very hoity toity kind of very high and mighty voice, just like most Thalmors do. He's like, well, I have done as you asked. I have captured these random heathens, and now I demand payment. I didn't need to do this. I have other priorities. I am under direct orders from the old Mary Dominion to attack this dump of a country. And the man standing next to him, <laughs> to your cell door, he doesn't even bother to turn his head. And he simply speaks. And when he speaks, he has a very... <clears throat> low-pitched, rasping voice that not only can you hear, but it seems to emanate from your very bones. And he starts, and he's like, Do not presume to tell me what to do, filth. I have only spared your life because I chose to. You will do as I order because I deem it so. Your leader is only alive because I deem it so. So do not 
presume to demand coin from me. Realizing his mistake and realizing, like, you can tell, like, he he is, like, all of a sudden realizing who he, whom he's talking to. He's, he's like, my my lord, I am. I am so sorry to presume. I, I have forgotten my face. I am, I apologize. I, it's just that these these people are not so important that you have to worry about them. He's like, they have a destiny that I fear. That is reason enough. Did you get the items that I wanted? And you, and. I need all of you to give me a perception check to see if you can see what if he hands anyone. Do we have advantage on this for some reason? <laughs> uh, no. No, you do not. <laughs> Oh, oh no! <laughs> okay, uh, Navid, you like like uh, their dust starts like uh, starts like unsettling, and you like you're sneezing up a storm, and you're like your eyes are watering. You're like, <laughs> uh, I'm just bored. I mean, I've been in this. I've been in prisons before. This is kind of boring. Yeah, uh, uh, Scarnet, you're you barely. Barely managed to see this transaction happen. You see, uh, you see the uh, the high elf hand the cloaked figure what looks to be a figurine of sorts. Huh. I'm very impressed by my um visual capability, considering the fact that oh wait, these are bows, right? Not a wall. Oh. Huh? Uh, this is, uh, like, this right here is bows, right? That's not a wall. Yeah, those are bars. Those are bars. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah. Uh, well, it, I was just making sure that I could actually see it. Yeah. Okay, so you can barely tell that it's a freaking figurine. You can't make out what it is. And you, like, barely saw the transaction happen. And the man turns... <clears throat> away from the... Are we gagged, by, by the way? Huh? Are we gagged, by the way? <clears throat> yes, yes, you are. Oh. <clears throat> and the, the cloaked man turns away from the Dark Elf and tosses a coin purse behind him. And the, the High Elf catches it and he's like, Thank you, my lord. Thank you. And the man, without turning, walks out of the room, and you hear him say this. By the way, if those prisoners escape, your whole world will come tumbling down. And you see, uh, like, him, like, disappear from view. And, like, as soon as this, uh, like, menacing figure disappears from you, the high elf gets caught again. He's like, Thank you, my lord. I have time to deal with you, heathens. Especially a disgusting cat. A worthless orc. A blasphemous Nord in a Dramora. And I'm and he you hear him. And you hear him like shout like gods and like you you just see a a like a Thalmor soldier just come up and he's like uh, you see him clasped his like hand over his chest, and he goes, Yes, Lord. How may I help? He's like, Get the jailer and have these prisoners fed. I do not have time to deal with these 
Oh, I have to get to back to the old med dominion so they don't expect a thing. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be going. And you see him, like, huff and, and start leaving. And, like, the guard gets pissed because you you can tell he, he, he has to do the grunt work. He's like, huh. And you just hear him scream at the top of his lungs, Sassor! And, like, <clears throat> about five minutes later, you see a squat reptilian creature come in and I need you each to give me a perception check to see if you know what kind of creature. Wow. Whoa. Holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Big up for last time. Well, okay, my allergies so, settled down a little bit. I can finally breathe. Yeah, you, you're like, you're like, oh, oh, dust is falling out of my eyes. Oh, oh, and what the fuck? And you're, and you realize, all of you realize that this is a cobalt. And he, and like you see that he has very red skin. He, you see that there is a scar over his left eye, and to, to his side, you can see that his weapon of choice is a sickle type weapon. <clears throat> and also to his side, you see a sling in a pair of jail boots. And he is like, "Yes, my lord." How may I help you? He's like, feed the prisoners, but first get me and my boys some wine. And he's like, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, right away, Lord. So um, that will take about like 10 minutes. So what are you guys doing as you realize you have been jailed by... By these people, <clears throat> as you realize you've been jailed by these people. Well, since I have the anatomy of a cat of sorts, I'm just going to try to slip the cuffs. And can I just um, ask a, a brief favor, if it doesn't get too annoying, because it's our first time, can we like include our characters' names so that I'll get used to the voices and like know who's talking and that kind of stuff? Because there's oh, gonna yeah, be everybody sure. saying like I I I if if that's cool. Uh, if, you, if you like uh, click on like the uh, like if oh you is there something on the map and like, like click on your like character, you uh -huh. can do like a gear, click on that and like you can show name plate. Uh, only GMs can show the name plates and stuff. Oh, sorry. I'll, I'll do that. Hold on. And also, you would have to go to under the advanced tab and make it to where all players can see the different nameplates. Really? Oh, sorry, to, sorry to be slowed down. Sorry, it was a great setup. Ah, don't worry. Don't it was worry mostly just to know who was talking. Yeah. You sure you can't like see like their names right now? I can see my name and nobody else's. Okay. Same. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Uh. Player permission. Also, if you um, turned it on to where we could all see the health bows, that's typically a nice thing. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. Okay. <laughs> Even though you don't have horses, don't get your hopes up. Yes. I mean, like I can make an illusionary pony appear on my shoulder, but tiny one. Oh yes, yes you're turning into my little freaking pony here. We're in the room with a Dramora. There's a Dramora playing with us. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Like, how do I feel about that? I know. I know that Thorin's an orc, but wow. Okay, you should be able to like see two of the characters' names right now. Yes. Yeah. Come on. I'm. I'm, I, I'm... I got Sigwood and myself. Thank you. 
Yeah, mine's up there too. I just moved mine back. Fixing some things because it's wanting to be retarded. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, I saw the orcs for a second. Ah, uh, what? Who was um, Ours on the bottom are just blocked because of the black background. Oh. As soon as we move, they'll, they'll be there. Oh, wait, I'm going to reveal part of that area, but, like, there's no wall there, so... I didn't... I forgot to put in a wall, so... It's a solid wall, so... Yeah. There you go. I casually <laughs> look over to the void that we've been sitting next to this whole time. That two other people are chained to you. So, can I attempt to pop my hands out of these cuffs? Uh, you can try. I've, I've got out of plenty of cuffs before. I think I'll be alright. Um, as a board, I have also gone out of plenty of cuffs before. Mostly tied up to a bed, but I'll also like to try this. <laughs> what, um, what would you like to roll to, like, for that? Slide of hand. Okay. <laughs> Shit! Eh. Those uh, damn allergies making it where I can't concentrate. Could do it. <laughs> None of you could do it, and you like you're trying. To, hmm. Go for it. You, like, let me explain. You try to like get yourselves out of these cuffs, and you you're wriggling and you're looking up at these cuffs, and like you notice that the cuffs start pulsating and start gripping even harder. Hmm, that doesn't look like it's working. And Thorin's going to try and, like, rip the cuffs apart. Okay, give me a strength check. Um, can I give him a muffled bonic inspiration? <laughs> uh, no, you cannot. Okay. That's <laughs> ah, uh, that's, a strength... You. that's a strength save! Do a oh, strength... sorry, sir. Oh. That was so good. God damn it. <laughs> when I say strength, use a regular strength. When I say strength save, do a strength save. Yeah, my bad. Did he just, like, break it all over something? Yeah, uh, uh, well, well, he did a critical one. He, his arms are sprained right now. Uh, he is like, uh, ah! Like you can, like you can hear him stringing curses underneath it, like his freaking mouth. <laughs> like, like he may be gagged, but you can tell he's cursing right now. He's like, oh, so fucking freaking ass. <laughs> <laughs> I got one more question. Can I roll like a perception to see if I can see a keyhole on these cuffs? Uh, you can. Okay. Come on. No, okay. Wow, critical! Wow! Holy shit! You can okay, see the shit so, out of that keyhole. So you, so you definitely see a keyhole. But for some reason, the pulsating is covering that too. I don't understand magic. I'm gonna try to stick my claws in there to. Can I try to. See see, I can, oh, sorry. And as. Yeah, see if I can. You see, you see Sassor come back with the keys and with like a huge tray of food and some wine. And he looks at you guys trying to do this, and he like shakes his head vigorously. And he's, he's, he taps his he taps the side with his keys and puts up one finger. And he continues to walk. Which finger did he put up? The middle one? <laughs> no, no, no. He put up his index finger. As in, wait a minute. Ah, uh, uh, gotcha. Uh, can I try an O'Connor check to see... What the fuck is up with this magic? Almost. Yes, yes you can. <clears throat> okay, so you can tell that this sort of magic requires a key in order to open or the caster who casts said spell in order to break it. God damn it, it's lock magic. Curses! My one weakness. And 
about ten minutes later, you hear snoring at the back of the room. Uh. Sassor comes back and is fiddling with, like, the keys in his hands. And he opens the door and he starts whispering to you guys. And he's like, okay, I have been paid a hefty sum to save you guys. And he's like, he's like putting his like, he's like, shh, shh, shh. he's like, J- just don't speak. Okay, let me tell you, there are two ways to get out of here. Not the front way. There's too many guards that way. One is the trap door at the end of the hallway, but that is where those guards are kind of asleep, drunk in in their drunken stupor. And also, the, your stuff is in a chest in a different cell. One that hasn't been used in years because there has been flooding. Now, I was told to get, allow you to escape and, like, he, he unbinds your, like, your gags and you find yourselves able to uh, speak, and but he, he he like he's like, but talk quietly. I'm not a damn Jamoa. <laughs> Why does everybody think that? Oh, because you're red. And what be- are you? And because you're horny. I mean, yeah, it kind of comes with the job of going around everywhere and singing taverns, but, um... What... what are you? That's not important right now. Uh... <clears throat> kinda is. If, if introductions later, we must get out, we must get your equipment and you get out of here before that... bad... bad... bad high elf comes back. Okay, let's do this. All thing. right, and like he unlocks, he unlocks. Like before he unlocks you, he was like, "Just promise me you won't kill me. I'm here to help. I can promise you if you won't kill me, my whole entire clan will owe you one." Okay. Uh, okay. I mean, like you're helping us out, man. You do us a solid. He, um, I don't normally murder people that help me. Don't worry. He unlocks every one of your chains, and he, like, motions to follow him. What's what's your name? <laughs> I tell him to hand me let, the sickle. Let me, show, let me show you a picture of your little friend. Uh, I'm going to show it to all players. Out of character, just to know if we run into kobolds, we'll know what his name was. Sassor. Yep, right. Sassor. Right. Well, thank you for rescuing your scissors. I got thank a mind you. like a trap. All right. And like you, like he leaves the like the the um prison cell open, and like he is tiptoeing down the hall, making sure that nobody can freaking hear him. And he he like kind of like motions for you to like stop for a second. He looks down. He, look, let me shift ping. He looks down this way, and uh, he like seems satisfied, and he like motions for you to follow him. Okay. I whisper for him to give me his sickle. I want a weapon. Until I'm here. Weapons <laughs> over here. I would like to stealth as well. I would like uh, to yeah, stealth as well. Make the guards up. Okay, anyone who wants to stealth right now, stealth. Hey! Oh, I am the knight. Holy shit! Oh, okay, uh, I need one more. Uh, who else is stealthing? Yeah, sorry, one sec. And he rolls a one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, all, all but Sigurd just disappear from... Frickin' view. Like, they just poof. 
Like, like you look at one second, Sigurd, and they're just gone. Like, you do a reasonably good job of sneaking, but your friends are just gone. Like, the orc ha might as well be a feather. <laughs> He's just gone. Come on, your life depends on it. You oh, just... God. You, you just hear this voice, come on, your life depends on it. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <gasps> I'm not used to this. I don't like changes. And, like, and, and like, 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 uh, one of the, uh, now more, like, uh, soldiers here. Why aren't you moving? Oh. Norin? I don't know. Aren't you moving me? No, you're moving you. Okay. Only you can Nor move you. Oops. Only That's I. your job. That's not my job. You gotta move yourself, man. You gotta get motivated. You gotta get moved. Okay, I didn't. But I'm um, there. I'm come on, guys. Me. He cramped his muscles pretty hard. He has to massage that <laughs> out. But uh, like uh, like you 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 panicking because like you all of a sudden just hear this voice coming out of nowhere. You're like, what? What the hell is that? Like one of the Thalmor soldiers just like go. Uh 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 uh. uh. Oh, is that you, Mom? Is that... If they're and sleeping... <laughs> Thorns... <laughs> and like, I mean... Can see... we just sneak up and whack him over the head? Well, I mean, they're already knocked out. We could... Uh -uh. Uh -uh. And, Sass and Sassor sneaks over to this cell, unlocks it, and you see a chest inside. And he was like, your gear is in there. I check it for traps. Uh, there are no traps. Okay. Then I will open it. As Emerald Akbar once said, it's not a trap. <laughs> How old did these skeletons look? <laughs> okay, so you do see, like, you do see these skeletons all over the floor. And you notice that this skeleton right here his leg seems to be going through the wall. Uh, first things first, I'm gonna take their heads and, like, move them away from the bodies. Uh, uh, okay, there we go. Nice. Never trust a skeleton. I'm gonna Thorin's check gonna the wall. grab his loot. I'm gonna check the uh, wall for an opening. Uh, you, you, uh, check that wall and, like, okay, so you are now considered to have all of your equipment back. Cool. Okay. okay. And, uh, you, your hand just goes straight through the wall as if it just, if it's just, like, a freaking illusion. This wall's not really here. <gasps> and, and I'm blind with that through. <laughs> And, like, you go through and you see that there's two other skeletons with a sealed off, uh, a sealed off, uh, jail cell inside. And you see that it's really flooded in here, like, the water itself comes up to your knees. And one, you see that one of the skeletons is holding a scrap of paper. Hmm. I will pick up that said paper. Who's <laughs> I? Okay, so here's, oh. here's what's... Does anyone here read Elvish? No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, of course I do. <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, Thorin does. Because he's living on the slums and there's elves in solitude. Okay, so Thorin, the frickin' half uh, half orc. Orc orc. Uh, I'm an orc yeah. orc. Uh, sorry, sorry. Orc orc. It's alright. It's alright. <laughs> happens when you're a city orc. Uh, but, uh... <clears throat> he, he's able to read this this letter... It simply it says on the, on the letter, I am sorry, but I cannot come home 
for I have been captured by these high elves. Note that I do... It's nothing against you, my love. But it's the fact that I cannot come home. And it's, it says signed... And the name is, like, blurred. Uh, how, how did he expect this to get to his loved one? It, it kind of sounds like he had a kid. He was just like, nope, and he went to jail. And it was just like, I'd rather die than actually raise a kid. It was totally him. Yeah. Nothing to do with jail. That's what it says. It was what can totally you say? He's him. an idiot. Well, I'm not a he fan died. of water. So Navid goes back out. <laughs> Damn water. And uh, as you start heading heading out that way, you notice that uh, Sassor is opening yet another uh, prison cell. And he's like, okay, you have two choices. You can either go out the main way or go out the back way. The choice is yours. Hmm. So... Is the way that we're closest to right now the back way or the front way? It's the back way. I would recommend that. Sure. Although, if you don't like to get wet, I wouldn't suggest it. I mean, we could always just go out the front. <laughs> well, uh, I, I mean, like, door. you didn't explicitly say to go up through the front, right? Like, that's the way we're supposed to go? I thought the front had a lot of guards. No, he totally said that we should go out the front. It's up. No, he said it's all up to you guys. Oh, okay. Oh, how do you guys feel Lauren. about letting other prisoners go, by the way? Mm, leave them to their own fate. Uh, all of the. Like, you can tell that all of the other prisoners are dead. Oh. Like, we're all left for dead. Well, I'm not a necromancer, so. Damn it. So it's player's choice. Which way are you going? Back way, front way? Reluctantly going the back way. It's the closest. I'll dry off eventually. Yeah. I will say uh -huh. back too. Okay. As much I as I want to go have a big Louise battle, I'd rather get out of here quicker and go have, like, alcohol and not be in a dink, ugly place. And, like, Sassor... Yeah, like, we gotta get to that tin. Yeah. And Sassor, remembering something, he was like, Oh, I almost forgot. Your letters. And he, like, hands you back your letters. I got an E. <laughs> I got a C for cranberries. I got a rock. <laughs> okay, Charlie Brown. What letter? Oh, okay. the letter. Uh, you see yeah. at the back that a prisoner had apparently dug a crude trap door that led into a secret part of the prison. Alright guys, I have a feeling that this goes down to a really deep and complex um, exit. That it's going to have a lot of enemies and stuff. Are you sure you don't Ooh. want to just go out through the front? Well... I mean, we're already here. I don't much like the underground, but I'm not going to make a choice. You guys look a lot smarter than me. If we're underground, there will be more shadows to hide in. If we're underground, that means that there will be less ways to go, and um, if we try to go through the front, at least we have a reliable means of escape by running the feck past them. But... Uh, I open the trap door. Yeah. I guess we're going down. <laughs> Let's just do it. You, uh, before you do, you open the trap door, and I need, uh, Naveed. Damn it. And, well, I need all of you to make a constitution saving throw. Mm. Okay. What? Oh, no. Oh, wow, critical save. Like, 
A stench coming from here. Hits oh, you should nostril. mute that, uh, that train before it gets crazy. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, the... the... <laughs> Wow, there's a train. There's a you're whole train to, down there. You're gonna have to. Yeah, yeah. I'll just wait. I'll just wait until the retard. Oh shit! It's the express line to solitude, guys. Come on. <laughs> wait until the retard goes by. <laughs> All aboard the train to freedom. It's gonna happen one time when we're sneaking, and he's oh. gonna deem it. <laughs> <laughs> Underground railroad. Crazy uh, train. Uh, okay. It's a uh, trap. Door. So anyway, you see a rotting corpse at the bottom of the thing, and you see that this person had broken both of their legs, because like you see that their pants had gotten caught on the trap door itself. <laughs> I throw up a little bit with my extra senses with the yeah, yeah like it's, it's horrible. You're, you're, like, <laughs> you're like a cat in the middle of the night. <laughs> um, I use actually I don't have pest digitation. Fuck, uh, never mind. Sigurd, Sigurd, old man, Sigurd, you manage to like you manage to like cough a few times and you're like, <laughs> I've smelled worse. I've smelled yeah. Worse. <laughs> One time the entire company had dysentery. Now that's a horrible smell. <laughs> Back uh, in my day. <laughs> uh but uh, uh, you, you, uh, do you still decide to go down this trap door? Well, see, you guys, it's really gross and disgusting. I really think we should get out the front. I don't. <laughs> 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 Come on, milk drinker. And Sa that is racist, good sir. You see, you see, Sassor like freaking plugging his nose, and he's like, he's like, you know, there's a river out back that just might be able to wash off that smell. We gotta do something before these guys wake up from the stench. Oh my, yeah, that's true. Oh, that is true. Um, do you guys want to just kill him? Killing and uh, sleeping enemy is something I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really for. Okay? I'm gonna be honest about that. I put my dagger away. That was just like inches away from this one. Okay. <laughs> he was like, okay, fine. True nords fight enemies that can actually fight back. Har har har. Never back. Go through their pockets. <laughs> now that's cool. Go ahead. I go through this um, one's pockets. Uh, give me a sleight of hand, both of you. Damn it. <laughs> uh, Navid, you find... You find a sealed letter with a mysterious wax seal on it. For some reason, it's... Uh, it's... Like, for some reason... You feel like you don't want to read it, like it's too important to read. Okay. And Skarnas, you are scraping against this this Thalmor's like this Thalmor's trouser pants, <laughs> and like, like you are you are feeling something against his leg. What's he doing? And and, and like like the thought of like the Thalmer, uh, he 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 he's like I'm grunting in his sleep. He he's like he's like no, sweet. I told you, the money bag is in my torso pocket. <laughs> um, after feeling around at the load thing like, next to his leg, I write a short note and put it in his pocket that says, "Call me," and. <laughs> <laughs> What is call? Uh, that send a courier mean. for me. And there's a little winky face next to it. <laughs> uh, you you write on his chest plate with like a charcoal you found, and like it, it said it says, 
Right me thumb time. Exo, exo, exo. <laughs> and I checked that pocket that, it's, that he said. And, and, like, and like, you see that this person is carrying uh, 10 gold on his person. I'll just take that. Alright. Okay, well, if you're done giving elves hand jobs, let's, let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Excuse me, I'm a bow. That's my job. Which way? I'm gonna stay down the ladder. Fuck it. Water's bad enough. Smelly water's even worse. Yeah. You guys wanna go through the front? Whatever. Okay. Guess the front then. Okay. So you start heading down the uh We're going down the front. Hallway. Question mark. Fine. Start heading down the hallway. This. Oh goodness. And you see that in front of you there is a door that you can clearly see through. And <clears throat> it's clearly been cracked with age and what looks like water damage. And you see two Thalmor standing there at, at, the, at the very middle of the room. And they're talking with each other. And uh, he was like, what? Oh, I was just about to say, um, we should probably go kill those other two if we're planning to just charge out the front. Because they're probably going to wake up and come after us. Okay, don't have to tell me twice. Okay. I cut Thorin. both of their throat for this guy's first. Okay, I won't I won't make you roll for it. Okay. I just kinda like stab them in the stomach as he's stabbing them in the throat. He's obviously Jeez. killing them, I'm just doing it for the enjoyment. Yeah. Yes. Okay, it's done. Uh, yeah. And you are like talking with each other. And um they're like, can you believe the nerve of that cloaked figure? I don't know who he is, but he was ordering our lord around like he was nobody. I mean, who do you think that guy is? I mean, it's bloody... I mean, do you fucking know what what he could do to him? I have an idea. And, like, like, the guy... How big's the crack in the door? Wait, wait for uh, not big enough to where you like can launch something through. So, okay. And it, like one of them says a name. He was like, "Can you believe that Orenthor, Orenthor, actually did what that large man said? Can you believe it?" He's like, "Yeah, I know. Our Lord Orenthor." Is the most mightiest mage we have in our employ. So why would he even do something like follow somebody like his orders? Right. So, do you want me to cause a distraction so we can sneak up behind them? Because one of them is facing this way. By the way. Okay. Thank you. That was the same, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, Thorin can be a distraction. <laughs> they could get busy. I uh, mean, like, I kind of had a good idea with what they're talking about. Okay, go for it. I use. Uh, do we my... need to reroll this though? What? Are we gonna need to reroll the stealth, or are we gonna keep the same one? <clears throat> what I we had need to do is I want you to click on like your like your player pictures, and then go to your uh yeah. You're gonna be rolling initiative. Hold on. Oh. Uh, go to your player like stuff. There you go. Which thing do I click on? Uh, okay, click on your uh, player uh, player picture. Yep. Okay, and then go to your uh, actual character on your uh, 
journal. Okay. On the word initiative between armor class and speed. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so Sigurd first. Skarness goes second. Navid goes third. Thorn goes last. Let me roll for... <clears throat> Let me roll for... So, Balmor will go after Sigurd. Okay. So, Sigurd, it's your turn. What are you doing? Hey, okay, so, uh, how many. What does each tile represent? Have I got, like, you know, 30 speed? Uh, no. Each tile represents the feet. Okay. So that's okay. 30 feet there. Okay, then, so... Small prison. Okay, so I'm going to go... So, wait, is the door closed? Yeah, the door is closed. Okay, I am going to go up to that door. I'm going to... Can I, like, go up the door, kick it open, and then charge the closest guard? And there goes my distraction. Uh, a single uh, tear was down my cheek. I mean, okay. I'm wearing art like chainmail. Stealthing's not really my thing. I got you, man. Everybody will get a chance eventually. You do you. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go up to that door, kick it down. <laughs> Just okay, knock on uh, it with your foot. Foot. Okay. Do I need to roll any check for that? Yeah, that's what I was trying to get your attention with. Uh, so strength? what you need to do is give me a strength check with advantage because of the door. Okay. <clears throat> so. So 15, you automatically take the higher number. <clears throat> well, you did a save instead of a check. Oh, oops. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Okay, uh... Sorry, there we go. Okay, 16. You kick the door down. The Thalmor, like, they see that you're here, and they're like, Prisoners have escaped! And so, uh, who are you attacking? Uh, the one closest, so... The, yeah, the one closest facing me. Okay, so move towards him and give me an attack roll. Okay, I am using my uh, battle axe. <clears throat> okay, 14. Let's see here, 14, does it hit? Elmer Soldier, does it hit? Okay, so it does hit. They have a class, armor class of 14, so give me a damage roll. Okay. Oops. If you click on the battle axe, there you go. Five slashing. Okay. So, how are you hitting this man? Hitting him? Well, let's see. You're not They're wearing, like, what type of armor are they wearing? Uh... Uh, the typical, like, Thalmor armor, you know, elven armor, you know. Okay. It's it's Pangea elf armor, so I'm going to aim for the chest. <clears throat> so, you, like, like, uh, the rest of you just see Sigurd, like, burst down the door and charge forward with his <laughs> mighty battle axe. Huh. And... He brings down this battle axe, and, like, it barely gets through the armor, but you can tell that uh, this armor has been severely, like, cut from, like, the collarbone to about, like, to the bottom of the rib cake, and he is bleeding a reasonable amount. Uh, Get ready to meet Talos, milk drinker. 
Okay, oh. now it's the uh, Thalmor's turn. Okay, and let's see here. Okay, six. I know that doesn't hit you. So, use. So here's the Thalmor strikes a wild strike. He he is pissed. He he strikes a wild strike. He's like, Hurrah! and like like you just nimbly just cock your head to the side and it like just harmlessly just whistle by your ear, and you're like, really, really? Is that all you have? This really? is the best that elves can do. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's see here. That one will uh, go next. Now, hold on. I'm going to double check something. Wait, what? Who insulted me? Uh, me, because I keep on saying milk drinker, because you're a cat. What's wrong with milk? I don't What's know. wrong with milk, man? I say it very, like, racistly. It's just weird, I man. Like, yeah, the these sunflowers are not doing well so far. Like, they both stru struck at you, and they are not doing well. Beginner's luck. Just keep laughing at them. Okay, Skarness, it is your turn. Um, I just kind of look at this one. Seeing that they can't, like, even come close to hitting Sigwood, I just, um, yell out, This prison is poorly made to do swordsmanship sucks! And I'm going to Vicious Mockery. And like, you see a single tear form uh, uh, on this Thalmor's face. And he, like, at first, like, at first he starts saying, why would you say that? But he stops himself. <laughs> and he's like, why would you? You bastard. And with that, I take, uh... Step over here, over here. Just kind of hide behind the lovely, lovely cat. <laughs> so you're the real pussy. Oh! No, oh! oh! Shots fired! fired. Called it. Okay, David, it is your turn. Loved it. With a grin on my face. I move right over here and I pounce on the motherfucker. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so I uh, uh, use so bonus bone action. claw. That's a pounce bonus action, so you only have one action left. So what are you doing? Uh, <clears throat> it says for the pounce, I could uh, hit with the claw attack, and then I could do a, a bite as well. Okay. If he passes, if he d falls down prone, that is. Okay. Now, what sort of roll do I need to make? Um, it's a, a DC of 8 plus proficiency plus strength mod. So a DC of 13. No, oh, 11. 11. Dexterity saving throw. Hold on, um... Finishing something up. Oh, my vicious mockery only affects the tracks. <laughs> so, while we're waiting for, like, me to finish this up, because there's not nearly enough fucking time for this, um, talk to amongst yourselves, you know, like. Hmm. It was really convenient and nice of them to you. Have that whole exposition um, dump for us. Yeah. yeah I mean, it was really thoughtful of them, really. 
It's always good to know that I'm important. <laughs> it's always good to know who, you know, hates you from the beginning with no no reason. Yeah, I mean, like, kind of don't like the Thalmu in the first place, but it's it's just kind of, like, courteous of them to, like, say that. Yep. Now well, I know that the, well, the, 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 the Nord is a piece of shit. Well, I've done enough research on, like, the Thalmor, and, like, they find each one of your races just the lowest of the low. They do not even like you as pawn scum. They don't even know what I am! <laughs> oh, he, I'm glad he there's no Altmers with us. Oh, yeah, if there wasn't, like, an Altmer, he would have probably, like, shown mercy, but... Yeah. Things would be different. Be but we went <laughs> full rogue. Yeah. So, what are your opinions on this? Well, I, I gotta ask you. Um, so, um, what are your opinions on the masked man? Um, I really wanted to make a copy of him. Just, like, right here. Just to, like, fuck with these guards. When they were talking shit about him. I don't really have an opinion on him other than I really want to use him to make somebody shit themselves. <laughs> well, it's scare tactic like that, right? Yeah. He sounds kind of like a dick. I want to stab him in his eye hole in the helmet. Looks like a worthy opponent to me. And I'm like, yeah. The... <laughs> worthy opponent. <laughs> I wanted to make so many different comments. Whatever that whole exchange was going on, but we were gagged. We were gagged. Yeah. Probably done on purpose, for that very reason. I would've yelled out, I bet you won't kill him. <laughs> Do what I can take No you. balls. <laughs> I would've been like, come on man, he did legit catch us, I mean like, we're totally captured right now, we totally are going to be released any second now. Do 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 do, don't mind us. Okay, so uh, I think I got this. Hold on, let me let me try this. Boom. Yeah. Yay. Okay. So. Uh, all right. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to make a what? Looking good. Um, a saving throw of a DC of eleven or be knocked prone. It doesn't say what type. I'm assuming dexterity. Yeah. And then if he is knocked prone, I get to make a bite attack. Oh. Holy shit! Okay, that was a critical fail. <laughs> okay, so he fit like, you connect with your claws. Your claws, like, pierce through his very armor and into, like, uh, like, in between, like, <clears throat> his shoulder and his neck. And you are gripping him, like, really hard. Now, you can definitely make a biting. I, I go straight for the throat. Ooh, yeah. Damn it. And you're, you're, well, he's you're prone, so I have advantage. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Just, just give, awesome. me, give me damage. <laughs> just chill. I like it. I love it. Want okay, some more of so it. So you sink your teeth into this guy's poor, poor, poor fucking throat. And he is like, ah, ah, And he is swinging his sword <laughs> wildly. So I need you, Naveed, to make a dexterity saving throw. Sure. You manage to barely get out of the way in time before you see a curved sword just pass by your eyes. Like it's right in front. Like you didn't see the blade itself just pass in front of your eyes. I spit his own blood on his face while he's laying <laughs> on the ground. And he's like, you're a fucking cunt. <laughs> Thorin, it is your turn. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, I guess if I go um, and I go through here, do I have to pass some kind of check for going through everybody? 
Uh, you could, uh, you could, uh, go, like, right here, I guess. Here? Okay. Yeah, you would still go through the door. It would still be, like, 30 feet. Regardless. Sure, and that would help flank that guy <clears throat> for a cigarette. All right, I'll go there. So, let and me besides, there, and I'll... And besides, this part is, like, five feet in between. That part is not accessible. All right. So what are you doing? <clears throat> and I'm going to strike that guy with the Warhammer. One-handed with my shield out. Give me time. Whoa. That was the wrong thing. That's just a little white line. That was really weird. That's racist. The white <laughs> The thin I hope that was better. Ooh. Okay. Uh, give me a damage roll. Was that a crit? Okay. No, it wasn't a critical. Okay. You, uh, <clears throat> you bring forth your mighty warhammer, and you literally just you bring it down on this on this Thalmor's left shoulder, and you, <sighs> you guys hear a sickening crunch, and like the guy's freaking. Uh, Arm just falls limp to his side. I know, but it was helpful. He's like, oh, son of a <laughs> bitch! Sigurd, your turn. <laughs> okay, well, time to put this one down. I'm attacking the same elf. What? This one, right here? Yeah, the one I attacked previously, and Thorin just attacked. <clears throat> so, battle axe. 14. Barely again. Okay, give me a damage. Five. <clears throat> okay, the flesh exposed. You strike in the same place twice, hoping for a different result. Hit his... <clears throat> His chest is even more gashed, but he's still alive, regardless. Oh, but I really hope I get to kill him with much little damage. He is, he is bleeding profusely. And now it is the... the, the Thalmor's turn. And this one, right here, extremely pissed at Naveed. He has disadvantage. We'll use half of his movement to get up. I can do that, remember. <laughs> I, I said disadvantage because of the vicious mockery. Yeah. Because emotional damage is the worst kind of damage. <laughs> Although, although, yeah, sometimes that is true. Doctors can't. Fix I don't your think it hits you, does it? No. <clears throat> it, it pings off your armor. It, it he's like vibrating at at this point. Like he's like. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> uh, and at this point, another Thalmor soldier comes in the room. Damn it. Damn it. And um, <clears throat> since he used all of his movement then here, he can't really do anything. But this one will attempt to attack the one who paralyzed his left arm. Thorin! Okay. So. I have an AC of 18. Because I've got my shield out. Yeah, no hit. Okay. Ugh. And he deflects it off with his shield. So, uh... Man. I don't think it will ever give me enough to freaking hurt you guys. Seriously. I might have to... I might have to... You've like, given me good material to bash on them, so just keep it up. Well, it randomizes, like... It randomizes the rolls on here. Yep. So I... So I might have to actually roll real dice in order to make it 
I know what you mean. Like, because it's like story. Mm-hmm. Because otherwise, otherwise, you guys will never ever take damage. <laughs> no, man, you just have to just luck. like scale them up. Oh sooner yeah, than, oh, yeah. It's rather just, than later. Yeah, it's just that I haven't figured that out yet. Uh. Like I, I mainly, uh, I've been asking my brother for like advice on like uh, scaling up NPCs on level twenty, but he hasn't been able to answer my questions as of yet. Mm. And besides, like all the rolls for like attacks and everything is randomized. Yeah, it's just a um. Sometimes you just have a series of bad luck. Sometimes you get oh. good luck. Oh. Sometimes you get middle, but. <laughs> but, okay, uh, Scarness, your turn. Alright, I, uh, take a, a few confident steps up. Look at the one that just came in and it's just like, I kind of doubt that you will trained at all, because I've seen literally monkeys that wielded swords better than you. This is the best insult I can come up with. I'm really bad at this. Cutting. Yeah. <laughs> Shots fired. Shots fired. So, did my insult affect him? Which one are you pinging? Uh, the one that just came in. Okay. <clears throat> so, he, he, like, you see him turn towards you and he's like... You suck! He, he, he turns to you and he's like, what did you just say to me? Punk? Damn it. And bonus action. Seeing that the um, Khajiit <laughs> is kind of really scary, I'm going to read him a little <laughs> rhyme. Silent as the night, really deadly in a fight. <laughs> Killing things with his vicious bite. Enemies are in for quite the fight. You get a bonus inspiration. Woo-hoo. Thanks, sir. And that uh, I feel amazing. Naveed, it is your turn. What are you doing? I want to dive between this guy's legs, jump up and pounce on the guy behind him. Okay, well, <clears throat> first, here's what's going to happen. I need you okay. to make a dexterity roll. Uh, acrobatics or straight dexterity? Okay, acrobatics. That would be more... Acrobatics, yeah. Shit! Uh, he grabs you by the legs. Wait, wait, I'll use my inspiration. 1d6, I believe in you. 1d6. You better hope it's a crit. Yeah. Better than a... Three. <laughs> Better than an eight. Okay, he still grabs you by the legs, but barely. He grabs you by the ankles this time. He barely catches you. Huh? And he pins you to the floor. Uh oh. Stranger danger! <laughs> no! <clears throat> So, Thorin, your turn. You just witnessed your cat friend just get uh, Lion king over there. Hail to the yeah. king. He did. Um, did you get? <laughs> and I, I have to hit with my Warhammer as one-handed. I can't hit with it as two-handed, so I will do that again one-handed. And with a mighty blow... What? Yeah, don't hit him. You oh. ping it off of his armor. Oh. You ping it off of his armor. It goes like it like is vibrating in your hands. You, your hands are slightly numb. It's like a the. <clears throat> well, like like, I guess then that knowing that I'll be more useful on uh, this other side, just as this other guy attempted and. Here. Uh, before I do anything else, yeah. 
Okay. We're causing a noise. Sigurd, your turn. Okay, I'm going to attack the same elf again, hopefully finishing him off. So, okay. uh, one sec. There we go. Oh. Ah. Oh, you you bounce off of his armor. Oh man, like like it it doesn't even compute to him. Like he he is feeling cocky right now because you both miss. He he's like feeling confident. He's like oh he's like all oh, right. These things are turning around. Um, sorry. Can Thorn move to here? Uh, he has not moved yet, so yeah. Awesome. Guessing. Then he does that. We'll move. We'll pretend it's D and D. No, just kidding. Here, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. Can... So, uh, I... hunkers down with his shield. Uh, first of all, he takes an an. Like, this enemy takes an attack of opportunity since you're moving away from him. Okay. Just so you know. Okay. Yeah. Dang hit. I think 25 hits you, right? I'm... And that's critical damage. So, Ooh. you take 8 points of damage. All right. <clears throat> you see like this soldier turn around you guys and like straight up strike your orc friend in the back <sighs> and like it opens up a large wound on his back what and happened your friend to bad luck fucking, he is hurting Damn it, my insult made them even more confident! <laughs> Damn it! <clears throat> and, okay, so, uh. Whose turn is it? Oh, right, it's the Thalmer's turn. So. He is still pissed with Naveed, and he still wants a piece of you. No means no. <laughs> uh, are you saying this as your character? Oh, of course. <laughs> he he he's like he is like oh don't worry I'll take good care of you. <laughs> you got a perk in my elf. Oh, okay. I spit in his uh, face. Okay, Naveed, 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 I want you to try a dexterity saving throw right now. Since he had a critical fail. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, the majesty. Did you know Did it's you... a 1 in 400 chance to get two criticals in a roll? <laughs> okay, uh, let me explain why I asked for a dexterity saving throw. He had a critical fail with his with his sword so you had a chance to to escape his grasp okay. so you not only manage like you do a fancy like you pull yourself out by one hand do a one-handed handstand <laughs> launch yourself into the air twist a little and land yourself beside him. I, I just kind of want to take this opportunity to do a little PSA. Um, there's these numbers between 1 and 20 that have been ignored throughout their entire lives up until this point. <laughs> um, we never use them. I feel bad for them. That's all I really have to say. I'll take it under advisement. Nobody cares about those ones and twenties. <laughs> no, every number in between them. We only use the one and twenty. Okay, uh, so, uh, um, 
So, Skarnis, your turn. Is that the best that you've got? <laughs> uh, how bad does Thorin look? This one, right here? Uh, no, Thorin. No, Thorin. I've got about five. I look pretty uh, he, bloodied like, up. He, 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 you can see his blood is profusely gushing from this massive wound. Alright, um... First things first, I'm going to inspire Naveed with a haiku. Uh. Naveed the Khajiit, probably clever than fleas. Please don't let me bleed. <laughs> and... I'll get you for that. <laughs> gonna come over here and kill light wounds. I mean, kill wounds, because light wounds is not a thing in this. Okay, you heal six damage. All right. Now, I'm just assuming he's going for the uh, man meat where he touches him. He seems to be fond of... Uh, no, I slightly caress his nipples when I do this. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the elf Damn. was like, what the fuck? It's okay. Twist the it's nipple okay. fresh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, Naveed, you have just, uh, like, like, just escapade in the most eloquent way possible. Like, seriously, like, you did so many tricks in one thing, it's ridiculous. And you also witness your friend uh, Skarnes being a little pervert and touching <laughs> your friend's nipples and healing him. I was like Skarnes very lightly caress him. Huh? Was Skarnes the one that gave the hand job to the sleeping elf? Yes. Yes. Okay. Be careful, Thor. He goes from hand jobs to stabbing pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are you doing, David? I'm going to get up all nice and close to him, right inside of his guard, and just whisper, I'll show you how to attack. And I'm just going to go for the neck with my claws. Okay, give me a damage. <laughs> Two. <laughs> okay, you, you go... You go for his very, very face and very neck. And, like, you pierce through the armor and, like, you feel something tear. I love you too, wife. Have fun, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry, my wife was making fun of me for playing D&D. &D. Yeah. Hello, nerd. Love you. Uh, that... oh. Roll for advantage. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, anywho, uh, like uh, you notice that you uh, rip something when you uh, get into his neck, and he starts bleeding profusely from the neck, and he collapses to the floor dead. You had you had ripped. Apart his very jugular vein. I'm oh, just gonna I take. A I needed a shower. I'm just gonna I'm take a slight he's note. Spraying all over me. Uh, he is spraying all over the floor, but some of it did get on your fur. Oh, let's see for my movement. Just because I'm feeling pretty good. I'm gonna do a a backflip over acrobatic uh, sartness. Don't tell me. <laughs> you 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 launch yourself onto uh onto Scarnet trying to do a backflip, and you collapse onto his back and like fall over. Too rough. Uh, too rough. I want you to make a strength. Saving throw to see if you can. Oh, yes. Strength oh, as a yeah. bow. That is my best skill. <laughs> you 
Wait, you... Can I make a dexterity saving throw to grab onto him? <laughs> yeah, sure, sure, why not? <laughs> oh man, you are crumbling beneath the weight of this Khajiit. And you're like, oh, I can't take it more. He's like, oh crap. And like, Nabi, you get your feet on the ground. Barely, like, uh, like, you barely get your feet on the ground when he like starts collapsing and you like manage to pick up your friend before he collapses to the floor. Come, my friend. Let's ride into battle. <laughs> Thorin, I, I kind of look just... at him and I'm just like, can, can I legit ride you? Are you are you like a giant pool like cat that I can use as a horse? Are you a Yoshi? <laughs> are you a Yoshi? <laughs> yes, Goku. <laughs> Thorin, oh, it's funny. your turn. Um, Thorin uh, looks strangely at everybody and all their wild techniques and just thinks. <laughs> Uh, for right now, I'm just gonna keep bashing. I have a thing or two to learn. And I guess Sugar Drinker raised with this outcome. Yeah. Uh, that does not hit him. Yeah. <clears throat> Thorb frowns in disappointment. Sigurd, your turn. Yep, I'm gonna follow Thorin's lead and keep to the simple I bash the elf. So the one that I have attacked I previously. <laughs> yeah. And let's hope this actually works. Damn it! <laughs> uh, it bounces off of his off of his armor yet again. And you're like so frustrated and you're like, son of a bitch! <laughs> He's laughing at you. He's like, ha, 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 you pitiful fool. Tough talk coming from the man with one working arm. And he's like, shut up, I'm working my hardest here. Well, doing better than your friend. Looks like Cat got his throat. Okay. I mean, if that's your joke offhand, I could help you with that. It's, it's the foul worst turn. And uh, the one nearest to Sigurd will... We'll look for a Does a 17 hit you? Yeah. Okay. Let me get a damage. Okay. You take for He, sh like, is so confident that he will strike. He goes, like, for, like, your collarbone. And it, like, the sword goes into your collarbone, like, a good amount. It doesn't break the collarbone, but it does Hurt like a son of a bitch. <clears throat> so four damage. Yes, four damage. And this one will attempt to attack Navid, who just killed his friend. Mm. I'm pretty sure uh, eleven doesn't hit you. No, sir, it does not. Uh, uh, like five a second. Like he is witnessing like this whole like display of acrobatics happening. Like. You picking up your friend, like, trying to back. And he, he attempts to, like, strike at you. Your Khajiit sense of hearing, like, hear him grunt a little. And you, like, nimbly, like, 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 just put your shoulder slightly to the side. And it whistles harmlessly to to the side. And you're, like, you're, like looking at him. And he, you're, like, I'm going to have your blood next. <laughs> You like that move? It's from the movie The Matrix. <laughs> it's not out yet. But I've seen the previews. And he is looking at you like, what's the movie? <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Skarnas. Alright. So, seeing where everybody's positioned, I'm going to move around here. Double flanking! Woohoo! Uh, seeing as that one's surrounded by two, I'm going to go for the one with Sigurd, and I have advantage, because flink. Yes, you do. Woo! Give me a dabblage. Sigurd, you witness, like, the soldier who have you been facing unsuccessfully abruptly has a dagger, abrupt, uh, uh, like, erupt from his mouth. 
I just kind of like to think that, like, after that happens, I kind of, like, swiftly pull it out, and, like, as the body falls, I'm just, like, behind him, like, waving at Sigurd. <laughs> you just see, like, Skarnes going, Hi! How's it going? I, I, I saw you having like, some yeah. issues, so I decided to help. Uh, <laughs> I muttered to myself, thanks, but I, I, I could have done it by myself. But, yeah, thank you. Thanks. Uh, Naveed. You just witnessed Skarnes just a bull, like, literally skull fuck this poor Thalmer soldier. Apparently oh, I'm the most sexualized this. character in this game now. Got it. And with this uh, smile on my face. It's just like, it, that's what it kind of seems like, you know? I don't mean to... I mean, like, whenever I get, went to pull it out, I, like, pushed it back in again, pulled it out again, pull, pushed it back in a few times. <laughs> 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 Now that's cold fucking. I, I say to this guy, time to mix your blood with his. And I will attack him with my claws. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is that all you're going to try to do? Uh, don't think I can really do anything else. I don't want to move, so. Okay. <clears throat> Unless I get two claw attacks, which I doubt it. Okay, uh... Okay, so it's... Uh... Whose turn is it now? Thorin. Oh, Thorin. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear my name. Um... I'll attack this guy. Oh, that He's one's dead. dead. Awesome. This one's the only left alive. Perfect. I will keep hitting. Keep smashing. You Mm -hmm. miss. You hit the him. You you smash it to the floor. And like he barely gets his foot out of the way. And he looks at you like he just pissed his pants. Like he was like, that was fucking close. (laughs) Well, thanks. Uh, Sigurd, your turn. Okay. I'm going to look that elf dead in the eyes and t- scream at him. You better drop your weapon now, boy. Before, our, or I guess, uh, wait, what, what's our bard? Your nod, Dramora? You know what? I'm going to say it anyway. Our Dramora skull fucks you into bl- oblivion. I uh, kind of, like, as he's doing this, kind of, like, lick the blood off my dagger. Just like oh, seductively sure. as uh, possible. Uh, yeah, Sigurd, uh, are you attempting to intimidate? Because you will have advantage if you do. Yes, I am. Give me an intimidation roll. 19. He drops his fucking sword so quickly like it is on fire. And he is pissed. Like, you can see the liquid from his piss going down his armor pants. That's disgusting. And he, he is trembling on the floor, and he's like, please don't let him skull fuck me. Please don't let him skull fuck me. It's him. okay, it's okay. I won't skull fuck you. I'm gonna stab him. Through the skull with my dagger. <laughs> and, like, where, where are you wanting to stab him? Uh, like, In I'm kind of, like, patting him on the back, and, like, with the other hand, I'm, like, quickly going up and, like, stabbing him in the back of the throat. Okay, you do that, and like he like keels over, like he did not expect that he he's dead. I really <laughs> hate that move. You should have expected that. <laughs> he really should have. Well, he was scared, and it was more against him. Scared out of his fucking mind. I mean, like, come on now. It's Thalmu. As soon as all the bodies not to drop, die. I would love to like go through their pockets. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. I don't approve of stealing, uh, but looting from the. Uh, anyone who wants the search, <laughs> anyone who wants the search pockets, give me an investigation roll. Okay. Uh, investigation. My worst. <laughs> okay. Oops, wrong one. Oh, no. There we go. That's the right one. Yeah. Scarness, you uh you find. <clears throat> You find a sack of a sack of what looks to be coins. 
but they're not like any coins you've ever seen before. Uh, what do they look like? Well, they seem to be, they seem to have elvish symbols on them. Hey, uh, have you guys ever Those seen these mine. before? I dropped them all ago. No, no, you didn't, Thorin. Stop making stuff up. <laughs> I didn't say any. Thorin didn't <laughs> say anything. <laughs> uh, uh, guessing this is Thelma uh, money. Maybe. Do you, do you guys know what this is? <coughs> I can only read the language. I don't really know. Oh, what does it say uh, on this coin? I kind of. Uh, you know for a fact that this is the currency that the old Mary Dominion uses. I they do know. To their race. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, what did I, do I know, know that, that with my back <laughs> backstory stuff? Huh? Shouldn't I know that with my backstory stuff? Because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you would know, but you wouldn't know, like, the actual language. Yeah. Because, like... Just that it's money. A... Yeah, yeah, you know for a fact that they they used it because, like, you were a slave to them. Well, how much normal <clears throat> money do I have? Uh, you have a good 35 pieces. I kind of hugged the bag of money, and I put it away. But you cannot determine on what it's worth in, like, settings. Well, let's get out of here. Yeah. And uh, I'm just going to notice that... Before we go, book, I just want to stab this one in the chest a few more times. Okay. <laughs> and you notice that in this room, that both of these doors are blocked off by... Large stones that seem to have collapsed upon this um, <clears throat> prison. So only this door is open. No, and no. This one, this one right here. Um, is this there a door there? This one's, yeah, this one you can see that it goes into a short look looking hallway. <clears throat> Well, I guess there's only one way left to go. <laughs>